Welcome to the virtual productivity course and this first lesson on what to expect from working remotely. I'm Matt Plummer, the founder and CEO of Zarbana, and we created this course to help you thrive while working remotely. In this first lesson, we want to talk about what you can expect from working remotely because your expectations of the experience will affect the quality of your experience. Now we want to share some data that shows what you can really expect based on what others have experienced and what experiments have shown about remote work versus in office work. Our goal is not to convince you to do one over the other. It's only to help those who are now in a remote work experience or who have been in a work remote work experience to thrive while doing that both in work and in life. Before sharing some of the research, let me start with my story. So I started working remotely about four years ago while I was a manager at a strategy and consulting firm. At the time, that was pretty novel and uh, uncommon for this consulting firm. And so there was a lot of skepticism around whether I could do it while managing client cases and managing a team. And rightfully so, it hadn't been done much before. Ultimately, they decided to let me try it for a year. And so I moved across the country, was on a different time zone, and was doing an educational program half time. And so getting up at 5 a.m. and starting my work day then. And, you know, on top of that, I was in a two bedroom apartment with my wife and two young girls. I was getting up in the early before everyone else was awake, going to the living room to do some, you know, start work there. And then when they got up, I would move into the bedroom. So it was a little chaotic experience and definitely not the optimal uh, home office experience. But after six months, uh, the, the person who ultimately allowed me to do this came back and said, you know, as far as we're concerned, this is working well. Not only can you do it for the rest of this, you know, year, um, but we'll let you do it for a second year if you'd like to. That was a big win for me in terms of could remote work work. And, you know, what I found is that it could even when things weren't set up optimally. Now, if you haven't had a remote work experience, you might be having some conceptions about remote work that come with the negative stereotypes about it that, you know, oh, it's going to be too hard to stay focused. I'm going to find myself procrastinating or taking a nap or watching TV because there's no external accountability or any number of the other challenges that are commonly cited when it comes to remote work. And let's be fair. I mean, these are honest and, and real challenges, and we're going to talk about them in a minute. But what we found at Zarvana now doing this for two and a half years with a team that spans three continents and, uh, you know, four or five different time zones is that remote work can work and you can have real benefits from doing it. And we've done that with very limited email interaction, uh, very few meetings even, and we've found a way to work, make it work productively. So in order to do that though, we've had to overcome some of the common challenges that are associated with remote work. And I don't want to gloss over these because that would give you an untrue and <clears throat> impractical sense of like what this will actually be like. Buffer, the social media platform, did a survey uh, last year that showed that the top four challenges that remote workers experience are loneliness or social isolation, unplugging after work or the blurring of lines between life and work, the connection or collaboration between teams or communication, and then finally distractions at home. And so 10 to 20 percent of people cite those four as the each of those four as the top challenge that they face at remote work. Now those challenges are real and we're going to talk about in this course how to overcome those but let's also share the benefits a wide range of research studies have shown that anywhere from 66 percent of remote workers to upwards of 90 some percent say that they experience these benefits reduced stress improved work-life satisfaction or balance greater job satisfaction higher engagement with their job more time, you know, you cut the commute time, you cut a number of other pieces of time there, so they have more time. And increased productivity, you know, one of the most robust experimental studies on remote work versus in-office work found that remote workers were 13% more productive and had 50%, 50 percent, five zero, 50 percent higher retention rate than their in-office peers. So those are a significant set of benefits that you can expect when you move into and are doing remote work, if you learn the tools to capitalize on it. And that is what we're going to teach you in this course. But first, we want you to take a look at the mindsets that you have as you approach remote work. And that is because, as we mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, your expectations are going to affect your experience.
And so what we want you to do is take some time to reflect on your experience, your expectations of what this experience will be like. Be honest with yourself and jot down those few thoughts that really animate and describe what you expect this experience to be will be like. What we then would ask you to do is compare those to the research that we just cited and actually uh, test those with the data. Is this true based on others' experience, based on what the research shows? You know, that for some of you might be convincing enough and you might say, OK, you know, I thought that I would not be able to be as productive at home, but this suggests I can. And so therefore, I'm going to shift that mindset, shift my expectation for others of you, you know, that data and just citing some data from a different source is not going to be compelling enough. You're actually going to have to run many experiments to test these mindsets. And so say, for example, you have the expectation that I can, I will not be able to stay focused while I'm working. Then run an experiment to test whether that expectation is true. And so say that your goal would be, I want to be able to do 30 minutes of deep thinking work without getting distracted. That is, that would prove that this expectation is actually wrong. So set that time up, actually schedule a time when you're going to do 30 minutes of deep thinking work and then develop a plan for how you're going to manage distractions during that time. And you know, some of the future lessons can teach you how to do that. And then um, actually track the outcome. How did it work? Were you able to go through 30 minutes? Were you successful there? Because if you are, then you should begin to question and shift that expectation. And so what we want you to do after this lesson is one, get clear about your expectations of this experience of remote work, and then begin to test and shift those that paint a negative light on this experience. And that will hold you back from experiencing the uh, maximum benefits of remote work. So thanks for joining for lesson one. We'll see you in lesson two.